Welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we'll explore the basic concepts behind signals and systems. First, we try to understand what do you mean by signals and then we'll move on to systems. Signals in one or other form constitute the basic ingredient of our daily lives. I repeat the sentence. Signals in one or the other form constitute the basic ingredient of our daily lives. There is no life without signals. For example, a common form of human communication takes place through the use of speech signals. Either it could be a face-to-face -face conversation or it could be over a telephone channel. In both the cases, speech is a signal. We will consider another example wherein by listening to the heartbeat of a patient and monitoring his blood pressure and monitoring his body temperature as well, a doctor is able to diagnose the presence or absence of an illness or a disease. Here, the patient's heartbeat, blood pressure and temperature represent signals that convey information to the doctor about the state of health of the patient. We will consider another example of weather forecasting. By listening to the weather forecast over a radio or watching it on a television, we hear or see the references made to daily variations in temperature, humidity and the speed of the wind. The signals represented by these quantities help us to form an opinion about whether to stay indoor or to go out for a walk. Now, we will consider another example of a stock market. The daily fluctuations in the prices of stocks and commodities on world market represent signals that convey information on how the shares of particular company are doing. On the basis of this information, decisions are made regarding whether to buy the new shares or to sell off the old ones. Likewise, I can set numerous examples and the list is endless. So, we can finally define a signal. Signal is defined as a function of one or more variables that conveys information on the nature of a physical phenomena. That is how we formally define a signal. When the function depends on a single variable, the signal is said to be one dimensional and speech is the best example for that. When the function depends on two or more variables, the signal is said to be multidimensional and image is the best example for that. The horizontal and vertical coordinates of the image represent the two dimensions. Now we will see the concept behind a system. In the examples of signals which we considered so far, there is always a system associated with the generation of each signal and another system associated with the extraction of information from the signal. For example, we consider a communication system. The entire system comprises of three sections, transmitter, channel or the medium and the receiver. The input signal to such a system could be a message signal. The transmitter changes the message signal into a form a suitable for transmission over the channel. The receiver processes the output from the channel to produce an estimate to the original message signal. We will consider another example uh, for the system which is a microphone. A microphone is the one which takes the input signal as the speech signal microphone works on it and produces an electrical signal as the output signal. Likewise, again the list is endless. I can now define the system. A system is defined as an entity that manipulates one or more signals to accomplish a function thereby yielding new signals. So this is how I formally define system. So this is all about the introduction to signals and systems in brief. Thanks for watching.